Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Gad Biasad from Al and this is the part 2 of my tutorial on the I mean computation of SSR, SSC and SSD using metrics in R. So we stop here. We have already our X, the matrix X and the value of our Y also. Now this time let's take a look again on our formula. We have here here it is. Okay, here it is. So let's compute first for SSR. Now, what we are going to do here is that we define first the variables we need here. So we have our y already. This time, let's define for our h, and then y prime, and then also we are we we are going to use this i so that we can find for j also. Okay, so I mean, yes, there you go. So let's compute first for y prime. Now let's compute for y prime, or is our r. y prime is just a transpose of y. So just type in transpose, and let me assign this as y prime. It is actually a transpose of y. Yes. So, and also x prime x prime is actually transpose of x so there we go so we have now our y prime i'm going to print that and for our x prime i'm going to print that also there you go so this is these are the values of our y prime and x prime now this time since we have already our x prime and y prime Let's go and take a look on our formula again. What is the formula of our H? So let's scroll up, page up, page up, page up, page up, page up. Where it is? Where it is? Okay, here it is. Now, this is the formula of our H. And we are going to find first, I mean, we have our x already and our x prime. And this time we are going to solve for this first and find for the value of this. And then we can solve for our h. So to do that, just go here and, I mean, sorry. And where is it? Okay, that's our h. So let's solve for this one. Now, I'm going to let me move it here so that you can see it. And here it is. So, there you go. Now, for our h, so let's solve for the inverse of x prime times x. And this is how you do it. I'm going to assign this as h inverse in i n. h inverse. Okay, let's name it. H inverse is equal to um, the I mean H inverse is equal to the transpose of X prime times X so when you're going to multiply matrix this is how you do it X prime times X so we have here X prime times X and we're going to transpose on that I mean, no, no, we're going to solve for that. So this time, um, just name it inverse, inverse for now, inverse, yes, let's name it inverse first. And this is the inverse, I mean, yes, okay, okay, whatever it is, just that one, and then inverse one, say inverse one. If that is, we are going to solve for inverse, this is now the inverse. This is how you solve for the inverse of x prime times x. So go. So this time, let's assign this as um, okay. We have your inverse one. So our h therefore is equal to x times inverse one 
times x prime. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Enter that. So we have our h. This is the value of our h. I hope that's correct. Now, for our i, yes, the next thing we're going to do is to solve for our identity matrix. How are we going to make for our identity matrix? Where is this? I'm lost. Where is it? Okay, here it is. So for our identity matrix, so since we have here our identity matrix is n by n, so we have 30 rows, 30 columns, and so we have 900 entries on that. So to make, uh, what is for us to make an identity matrix, since we have here identity, okay, I, this is this one. Now to enter, and let's make, I mean, let's make for our matrix. So our n would be 30, since we have 30 columns, 30 rows, and we assign our identity matrix is actually a matrix with entries of 0 in it all are 0 and n row is equal to n which is 30 and n call is equal to 30 enter that and since we have our identity matrix which has some entries of 0 and we need to make what the diagonal of it equal to 1 so we say i i mean identity if our identity matrix if the row of our identity matrix i mean identity matrix is equal to the column of our identity matrix then assign one to it so if i say i here is our identity matrix actually it's very 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 there are many entries on it. Okay, so we have our identity matrix. Okay? This time, let's define for our J. Our J has an address of 1 in it. It's, it, it, has an, it is an n by n, and all entries inside it is equal to 1. So, since we have our identity matrix already, so it's very easy for us to assign for our J, which is actually a matrix with end raise of 1 and has an end row equal to n and n call equal to n so if i enter that there we go j has an end of 1 this is actually an n by n matrix which has an end of 1 so we have our h our j our h, our j, our i, so everything is complete. Now let's try and solve first for our SSR. How to solve for SSR? Now, solving for SSR, the formula is this one. This is the formula for SSR. So it's y prime times h1 minus 1 over n times j y. So what we're going to do is that just for us to um for conveniency yes let's just solve first assign a value for this one let's solve for this one first and let's assign for that as ssr center and just make it sse sen which has a value of which has an address of h minus j divided by 30 our n is equal to 30 so that is our ssr and so i mean ssr sen which is this one and the value of ssr therefore is equal to y prime which we define already our y prime times the ssr sen times the value of our y so if i'm going to type ssr we have this 64026 I hope that's the same. Yes, that's correct. Six four zero two six seven point five five two, and we just we just um what is this round off. So let's make it fast, guys. I'm 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 running out of time already. And so for SSE we have this one. So let's solve for this one first, like what we did before. So SSN SSE SN is equal to I minus H. 
So, and then therefore SSD, sign a value for SSE, that is Y prime times SSE send, send, which is this one, 1 minus H times the Y. So if I'm going to type SSD, we have 1825214. I hope that's the same. Let me see. 1825213 and it was one of so there you go for SST we have here um, formula for SST is equal to Y prime so we are going to solve first again for SST sand which is equal to um, I mean SST sand yes which is equal to I minus J over and which is 30. So we're going to solve for SST. And this is sum of squared error. X prime, I mean Y prime times um, the SSD sand times the SS, I mean times Y. Oops, SSD sand, SSD. Y prime, sorry, we have here, there you go, SST. So we have 2,4, points, blah, 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 and there you go. So that's how you compute for SSR, SSE, and SST using matrix computation in R. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you learned something and watch for my other tutorial and wait for my other tutorial also. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe.